What's up, YouTube? So, the uh, I'm, I'm going to be going over the Miami Dolphins offensive line um, going into 2024, their contracts, all that, just like, just like I've done with the, some of the other position rooms uh, already. Um, Teron Armstead and Austin Jackson are both extended until 2026, so that's good. That's at least two starters. Teron Armstead, honestly, though, he can't stay healthy, though. <laughs> But I also don't really want to try to trade him right now because we have so much else to do with the offensive line. So I'll go in, I'll go into some of the other players first before I talk more about Armstead. Liam Eikenberg, Lester Cotton, and Keon Smith all have one more year on their deals for 2024, and then they'll be free agents. Keon Smith and Lester Cotton are whack. Liam Eikenberg is a little less whack. Actually, Lesser Cotton, uh, they're, they're all pretty bad, let's, let's be honest. Um, but after that, all of our other offensive linemen's contracts are up. Connor Williams, Isaiah Wynn, Robert Hunt, Kendall Lamb, Robert Jones, and I guess Jonathan Harrison. Jonathan Harrison can walk, I don't care. Um, we only signed him when Connor Williams went down. He can go. Uh, Robert Jones can probably go too, unless he's going to take a real f team-friendly deal. Um, luckily, Robert Jones is a restricted free agent, which means that uh, if we if he walks and someone gives him a contract, we have a certain amount of time to match that contract, and then we would keep him. Um, so that's something, I guess. I'm, I'm not trying to sign him to a bunch of money, though. <laughs> not at all. Uh, Isaiah Wynn, I wouldn't mind throwing a little bit of bread at him if he wants to stay and play guard for us. Uh, if he's going to take a real team-friendly deal, otherwise he can walk. Kendall Lamb, same thing. I, I would like to keep him as a backup, but uh, it would have to be pretty minimal, like a team-friendly deal. Connor Williams and Robert Hunt, though, I absolutely want to keep both of them, and we have to re-sign both. It's going to be pretty tough to do. Uh, hopefully, I don't like using people's injuries as a crutch, but hopefully that does help us with Connor Williams. Um, but I don't know. I don't know with Robert Hunt. <laughs> it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. But also one thing for Connor that kind of goes for him when he did go down our offensive line, our center position was pretty terrible. Uh, so we're, we're going to have to find a way to resign both of them. And we're also going to have to really address offensive line this off season. Uh, I, I want to really overhaul our depth and honestly, even look at, some starting options because like Austin Jackson really improved a lot this year um but I don't think he's above replacing Isaiah Wynn before he got hurt played pretty decently but I don't think he's above replacing I don't think any of them are um Teron Armstead just can't stay healthy and he's old so I, I think all five positions are reviewable <laughs> for the draft um because the thing is, Mike McDaniel all year was having to design plays to take pressure off of the offensive line because they're not that great. So he was helping them play better. Um, but you know what would be even better? Calling those types of plays with better guys. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't mind um, re-signing Connor Williams and Robert Hunt and also evaluating some people in the draft. Uh, and like I said... Um, Kendall Lamb and Isaiah Wynn, I would love to have them back uh, on some team-friendly deals. Robert Jones, I guess, too. But definitely Kendall Lamb and Isaiah Wynn. Jonathan Harrison can walk. I'm not interested <laughs> at all. But uh, honestly, Keon Smith can get cut, too. But just because we need bodies, I, I would keep him. And he's not even making a million dollars this year, so he can stay. Uh, Lester Cotton's barely making a million, so he can stay in, until we figure out what we're doing depth-wise. So... But I definitely want to... I'm, I'm not looking necessarily to pay a bunch of money for free agent offensive linemen. I'm really looking to re-sign our guys and then draft some guys. That's what I'm looking to do. But regardless, I want to improve this offensive line. However we do that. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.